Bobby's story, widespread concern over your arrest last week. What's your message to Sinn Féin supporters throughout Ireland? Well, well first of all, um, I want to thank everyone for all the support that have been given and that the party's been given over uh, the last week. Um, it's been very reassuring at a personal level and, and also from a family and friends, comrades who are absolutely outraged. Anyone who knows me knows my views and all these things, these horrible crimes and I want to thank everyone you know, for that. Um, you're right, there is grave concerns about the, not only the nature of my arrest but the, the timing of the arrest and a number of the circumstances around it um, in terms of, you know, we now know that unionist politicians were briefing the media before my arrest that I was to be arrested um, on the morning of the talks. You know, Republicans are very uh, cynical about all of this um, and uh, the grave concerns that we have, we intend to go to the Chief Constable as a party and raise those concerns and to drive home the uh, Republican anger and put to him and to the PSNI the questions that are on everyone's lips. Your legal representative John Finnegan commented on the fact that not one shred of evidence and not one shred of intelligence was presented to you during your detention. Yeah, the, I mean, the nature and the fact of my arrest was infuriating, um, and the arrest itself, and even the, the, the nature of um, the arrest and what happened during the 40 hours that I um, was in there, uh, all of that is a matter for legal proceedings, and we will be taking that up with uh, the Chief Constable. Um, so, the, um, the, because it's a legal matter, I don't want to say too much about it. But just in relation to the questioning, um, an example was that the police said to me that they believed, or sorry, the police said to me that um, a particular person believed that I was involved in the, the, the murder of Kevin McGuigan. And my solicitor asked them, is that a is that based on a statement? Is that based on someone coming to the police? And the PSNI detective that asked me that looked at his other detective partner and said, I'm not sure. I think I heard that on the TV or on the news. Now, that is a, that is a taped record in my interview. That is the type of um, charade and pathetic experience that I as an individual had to endure in this um, absolute unjust arrest. And in terms of our primary focus on our goal, the Sinn Féin peace process strategy, how important is everybody sticks to that? Absolutely imperative. I mean, I've spent 20 years myself within um, Republican strategy developing with others the um, the way forward, the Republican peace strategy, feeding into the peace process. Um, many Republicans have invested a lot in this and we need to be steady as we go. This isn't a time for knee-jerk and emotional reaction. Um, I have very personal feelings and affront, enragement, anger within me as many others have about all of this. But I'm the Sixth County Chair of Sinn Féin. I have organisational, political, leadership responsibilities and my whole focus will be to make sure that um, any elements, unionist, unionist infighting, the grave concerns within that we have about the PSNI, the criminals who are out there, these dissonant groups, these unrepresentative gangs of um, anti-drugs groups who are thieves and extortionists and criminals, we can't let any of those elements get in the road of the Sinn Féin uh, programme. So um, let's not be shocked at challenges as they come along. Let's recognise them for what they are and every Republican across the island, shoulder to the wheel and keep going.